<laughs> it's time to learn mathematics and build some stupid skits. Let's entertain the students because the quarantine submits. Well, school get back to normal. I guess we'll never know. It's like a stress reliever to watch the stupid show. It's time to learn a lesson in the lights and here we go. Let's learn some mathematics on the most irrational, clearly radical, often rational, that means fractional. This is what we call the Beefwake Show. This is WADE News with your hosts, Peter Parker and Hemi Faye Baker. Exciting news today, where two new steep streets were discovered in Nashville. Right. Previously in Mr. Wade's class, we learned that Hillview Drive in Brentwood might just be the steepest street in Nashville. But research uncovered two streets on the same hill that are apparently the steepest in the city. Joining us live from one of those streets is my true love, Hermit the Frog. So I've been fighting this constipation for about two weeks now. The medication doesn't seem to be working, you know. I do eat a lot of red meat, maybe too much. Oh shoot, uh, so we're live on the air I see. Uh, Hody hi, Hermit the Frog here from the aptly named Oak Lee Hill, the steepest public road in Nashville. You can see the sign behind me. The slope is zero point. What was that? Uh, just some fans, I guess. Rudely interrupting my shot. Anywho, the slope is 0 0.23, which is an astonishing 34% steeper than Hillview Drive. Hermit, can you tell us what the steepest road is? Yes, Peter. On the other side of this hill is Sassafras Place, a private road, and... <laughs> It's funny, this place was quiet until we turned the camera on. So anyway, Oogly Hill has a grade of 23% straight up that way, which means the angle is actually... The angle of this road is actually 13 degrees, as you can see in this diagram here, so every 100 feet you drive, how far does your car actually rise above sea level? Sounds like a simple trig problem. Sure, opposite over hypotenuse is sine, which means the sine of 13 is x over 100. Then all you have to do is multiply both sides by 100. Are you kidding me? Multiply both sides by 100, as I was saying, and you'll have the answer. So let's type this into a calculator for the answer. So 13, 1, 3, sine of that is about 0 0.225 times 1, 0, 0. So that's 100, enter, there's our answer. 22.5, that's 22.5 feet up for every 100 feet you drive. My goodness, that's steep. Why is he frozen? Hermit, can you hear us? Frog? There's a cat about a few feet away from me right now, and it's no secret that I'm absolutely terrified of cats. He's right there looking at me like I'm food. Cats are nice. Oh, I hate cats, man. Cats eat frogs. Oh, Hermie, I need to come save you. Let's keep it professional. There's also a heron across the street right now, directly over there. Herons also eat frogs. This is getting out of hand fast. Uh-oh. Uh, vultures are circling above me. I'm losing my shirt. I don't think I'm going to live much longer. Hermie, tell me how much you love me before you die. Uh, oh, oh, ah, e, hey. Oh, please, Hermit. I can see the trees moving behind you. Stop faking it. This has been WADE News with Peter Barker and Hemi Faye Baker. Welcome back to the show with your host, Hermit the Frog. Special guest tonight, Samuel L. Jackson. With the music of Ed Sheeran. Thank you, thank you. 
Welcome back to the Yesterday Show. For our next segment, we hit the streets yesterday and ask locals a series of questions in a skit we call, Are You Kidding Me? In a skit we call, Frogettable. Oh, like, forgettable? That's a stupid title. So, do you remember seeing this graph in math class? Ah, uh, it's been a long time, man. Okay, do you remember the name of it? <laughs> Can you name this graph? Cake. It's not a food. Cookies. It's not a food. Pizza. Do you remember the name of this graph? It looks familiar. Uh, did you graduate from high school? Do you really mean to have said that, frog? I would not like to have said that. Is it a parabola? Well, that's the best answer we've had all day. Aw, oh, man. Well, since they didn't pay attention to school, I'll give you a hint. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, it begins with the letter H. You know what else begins with the letter H? Uh-oh. hi <laughs> Oh, that really hurt. It begins with H. Hippopotamus? Hi. Hydroplane? Hi. Hypotenuse? Well, that's a math word. It's a hyperbola. Yes. Somebody finally got the answer right. Subtract 10, outside, vertical, hyperbola, down 10. Subtract 10, inside, IHOP. Inside means horizontal and opposite. Well, hyperbola, right 10. Thank you. And hopefully all you students out there paid attention in Mr. Wade's math class, so you'll get that right on the final exam. Ah, well, here's a sappy little number. Now, Bernie, how do you solve these again? The opposite game, Bert, but it's the remix. It's an equation. X gets isolated. Do the opposite to both sides until you made it. Eight, don't wait, cause it's off to the side. I see it's multiplied. All I gotta do is divide both sides. That was clever and bright. Now the square root is by itself on the right. Roots are like fences. Unlock the gate. How are we gonna get the X to isolate? The opposite. I like your rhyme scheme, Bernie. The, the opposite. opposite. You make it sound so easy. The opposite. We've got a new trick today. All right. Just do what you can do. Square roots go away when you square. Put a second power way up high in the air. Lose that two on the right with the cosine. Just divide it out over two. I can show mine. What cancels cosine? You heard it here first. It's a little function called cosine inverse. Second button, that's where inverse cosine is hiding. And now the final answer is what I'm gonna be writing. Just pushing the right buttons on the calculator. The opposite. It's so easy, anybody can do it. The opposite. Oh, double P, it's the opposite. Just do what you can do. Do, do. This. Where does that graph cut across the axis? All we gotta do is get a little bit of practice. Track this, it won't be difficult if you have the right tactics. Let's start the lesson with reps. Flex your mental biceps. Why you accept? It's a simple concept, never takes you more than two steps. Flex, take a zero, put an M for X. Look across and pimp dust the rest. Square that times that never complex. So tell me what's next. You don't need two math degrees, it's easy, so please just add the three. Simple numbers, it's such a breeze. And you can put it with a zero in parentheses. We're doing intercepts, the simplest of all math concepts. And you can't mess it up, cause logic sets it up. This is a Pete and Bernie jam. Call it a PBJ as long as you know who I am. It doesn't matter the way I'm expressing as long as you learn this lesson. We're doing intercepts, the simplest of all math concepts. And you can't mess it up, cause logic sets it up. 
This is a beat in Bernie track Bringing your math skills back Think what I'm giving is fact Use it on every equation, it's clever Now you can use it forever Part 2, now we're doing just the opposite Where is this graph gonna cross the top of it? X intercept, no secrets kept Just step to the simple proposition Just watch how math is done X intercepts in steps of three. Tackle the game, begin with step one. Change the y to zero and C. It's a fact problem. All y'all know the way that we solve them. Pick two numbers and then we involve them. Multiplies to be 12 and has to be seven and you called them. Three fours the only combo. X, X now falling like dominoes. Step three, a couple of zeros. Minus three, minus four, correct you show. We're doing intercepts, the simplest of all math concepts. And you can't mess it up, cause logic sets it up. This is a P and Bernie Jam Call it a PBJ as long as you know who I am It doesn't matter the way I'm expressing as long as you learn this lesson We're doing intercepts, the simplest of all math concepts And you can't mess it up, cause logic sets it up This is a P and Bernie track, bringing your math skills back Take what I'm giving is fact, use it on every equation It's clever, now you can use it forever The world of logarithm. We wrote some clever lyrics to a funky drum rhythm. Calculators do logs. I better grab it. Hey, yeah, base B. It doesn't even have it. Base B down. Log, just drop it. Power of two. Now you can't stop sure it. Sure can't. Don't forget, 64 is up there. Well, great. That's eight. Just another perfect square. We, we use log. log. Not that, that kind of log. Because I'm a smart frog. I don't stay in a bar. And I'm a smart dog. I'm never stuck in a bar. And I'm a smart dog. This is a memory jog. Once again, your calculator can't do it. Yeah, but all logarithms have a loop. Hop to it. Time to regroup. Listen up, kids. Here's the scoop. Because every logarithm's got a loop. Two, that's the base. You take it to the third. And now you put it equal to the x that occurred. That's two and two and two all multiplied. Well, that's yeah. two and four and eight on the right side. We use log. Not, Not that, that kind of log. Because I'm a smart frog. I don't stay in a bar. And I'm a smart dog. I'm never stuck in a bar. And I'm a smart hog. This is a memory jog. Jiminy Cricket, Warning. what now? Warning. Warning. It's always something with this spaceship. Captain Baker, come in. Captain Baker reporting! Yeah, we got a situation. I'm kinda busy, frog! We've got a loose window out here in Corridor A12! Lieutenant Barker, come in! Baker, this is Barker. 
Barker, this is Baker. Report to the cockpit ASAP. See what Frog wants. I'll be there in a second. Roger. Entry scan. Peter Barker. We're traveling on a vector y equals negative 2x squared plus 3x. I've located a meteor on a collision course traveling on the path log base x of y equals 3. How much time do we have? Only finding the intersection of those two graphs will tell us. Video screen. We only have one chance to change our course. No mistakes. I'm ready. Here's the scoop. Every logarithm's got a loop. I feel like I've said that before. Computer, equation mode. Shall we play a game? No, we're not really in the mood for games. Fine, I'll use my normal voice. Normal voice activated. Reorganize the meteor's path without a log. Now find the intersection between the two paths. Setting equations equal your move. Two or more types of X. My high school teacher, Mr. Wade, used to remind us to get these cases equal to zero. That's the only way out. Let's move the X cubed over. No, always keep the strongest term positive, man. Move all that stuff on the left side. Peter, you're a lifesaver. Entry scan. Hammy Faye Baker. We're on a collision course with a meteor. How much time? We're solving the equation now. Computer. Relocate negative 2x squared plus 3x to the right side. Relocating. Entry scan. Count spatula. What's new? Well, we're kind of heading for a meteor. Every time I walk in this room, it's bad news. So much for the stroganoff I've been simmering for six hours. Is it me, or did spatula turn into Christopher Walken? We need to focus on this equation. It's real tricky. Take out the GCF, it's so much easier. Yeah, computer, remove the GCF. GCF identified as 1x, removing. Oh, factor, factor, it's a factor problem. Yes, two things that multiply to be negative three, but add to be two. Well, negative three times one is negative three. Right on, frog. Computer. Wait, negative three plus one is not positive two? Switch the signs. Positive three times negative one is negative three, but also adds to be two. That was real close. Computer, factor using three and negative one. Reverse foil enabled. Now find solutions by setting each group equal to zero. Solving. Well, that's it. Nope, we need Y coordinates, guys. Oh yeah, computer, plug in the X values to either one of the equations. Well, the X means we've got one minute. And the Y means we're only one mile away. Warning. What in the Sam Hill is that? The emergency destruct system is now... Self-destruct mode! We've crossed the one mile barrier! The ship is trying to destroy itself before the meteor does! To the escape pods! <laughs> Lieutenant Barker, clear? Lieutenant Barker, clear. Lieutenant Spatula, clear? I'm so clear you could call me Scotch Tape. Captain Baker, clear? Captain Baker still on board. Baker, get in a pod and abandon immediately. Order denied. Your pod is leaking fuel, Hermit. If I don't stay on board and close the door, it will kill you and explode everything. Captain Baker, don't worry about me. Abandon ship. No, Hermie. It must be this way. I thought this was supposed to be a comedy show. Who wrote this script anyway? Okay, Count. We need to tell the students the most important numbers between 1 and 10. What better person to count those off than Count Spatula? Yes, Hermit, this is an excellent idea. Okay, boys, give me a funky beat. One, Fi, two. Cut, cut, cut. Count Spatula, what kind of a number is Fi? Irrational. I'm not being irrational. You're being irrational. No, the number is irrational. It's a decimal that never repeats. 
fee is about 1.6. You may have heard of the golden ratio, which is what this is. All right, all right, I'll allow it. Okay, places everyone, and roll camera. Bon, B, two, E, three. Cut, cut, cut. Count Spatula, E is a letter, not a number. Incorrect, my green psychic. E is an irrational number. Another one of these irrational numbers? Yes, very important in this world. E is about 2.7. Count, you're really throwing me for a loop today. Okay, everyone, places and roll camera. Bon, B, two, E, three, pi, cut, cut, five. Count spatula. You said pi this time. Pi is a food, not a number. Hermit, we need to review your math skills. Let me guess, pi is an irrational number too? Yes, but it's spelled P-I. It's about 3.14. All right, from the top. And roll camera. Bon, B, two, E. Three, five, four, five, six, tau, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, everybody, I'd like to call this meeting to order as the chairman of the Pete Wade Show. Uh, first of all, big guy, have a seat back there. I'm too big for the chairs. I prefer to stand. Okay, so the reason I called this meeting is that the Pete Wade Show has been canceled. Oh, oh. Ah, come on, oh, man, this is terrible. I know, it's not great news, but... The renewal contract was due yesterday, and the studio said they didn't get it. Now listen, I mailed that contract two weeks ago. Now don't get angry with me, Bertram. I'm not angry. My eyebrows always look like this. But listen, I'm a little perturbed. I know they have that piece of paper in their possession. Well, without that contract, we're off the air. I always thought it was going to be a copyright violation that got us. Well, why don't we just break in the studio? Uh, I don't like where this is going. Maybe the big fella has a point here. We sneak in, find the contract because we know it's there, put it on their front desk, they find it in the paperwork, and say, oh, it was here all along. Well, it's not a half bad idea, I guess. But we would need three volunteers to pull this off. Ooh, me want to break in. Oh, I'll do it too, Herbert. Well, this is going to be a disaster without some brain power there. I'll stay in the car and be the lookout while these two yahoos over here break into the building. Bertram, Bernie, Cake Monster, let's get this show back on the air.
Are you guys inside yet? Yes, indeed, Bertram. Hey, careful with the first name. We don't know who's listening to this channel. Code names only. Oops, sorry, Bert. <sighs> That's not a code name. I'm Yellow Fox, remember? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, Yellow Fox. <laughs> My code name is Slowburn. Burn it. Slow burn, that's too close to your real name. And my code name is Monster. You guys, oh, yeah, never mind. Just listen closely. According to this blueprint, it looks like the office is 135 degrees from your current location. Yeah, we don't know what that means. Okay, 180 minus 135 is 45 degrees. That's called a reference angle. Oh yeah, and every triangle has 180 degrees. So it must be a 45, 45, 90. The problem is the hypotenuse goes right through the wall and you guys can't walk through walls. So you're going to have to walk 20 feet down the hall and make a right. Okay, slow burn. So the two sides of a 45-45-90 triangle are equal, so walk another 20 feet north. Wow, clever. You're definitely the smarter Flanders. And there's the last name. Hey, uh, Bert? Bernie! Sorry, Yellow Fox? There's a keypad here. How are we supposed to know the code? Okay, so one of their documents has a clue. The passcode is the cosine of 135. Well, that's perfect. We have a drawing of 135 degrees already. Forget the drawing. I'm typing it in my calculator. Uh, looks like it's about uh, negative 0 0.707. Uh, the keypad doesn't have any sevens. Great discovery, Sherlock. Slow burn, not Sherlock. How many times have I told you not to use a calculator? It's a Sokotoa question. Sokotoa? Ka, 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 it's a ka problem. I think there's a bird on our channel. That's not a bird, you idiot. That's me saying ka, C-A-H. It stands for cosine equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Didn't you pay attention in math class? Oh yeah, I remember this. So cosine of 135 is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 20 over the hypotenuse we don't know. Right, but we do know it's a 45-45-90 triangle. The hypotenuse is the side times the square root of 2. It's a known fact. So it's 20 times square root of 2. So it's adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 20 over 20 square root of 2. And the 20s cancel. Okay, so we've established that it's 1 over square root of 2, right? Can you type that in without messing it up? Sure thing, Bert. Now don't type it in wrong or you'll set off the alarm. I know, I know. 1 divided by square root of 2 and enter. Wait, wait, I just discovered a mistake. Don't hit enter, don't hit enter, hit clear, hit clear. Wait, how did we mess up, Bert? On the drawing, the adjacent is left. That means it's negative. So it's negative 1 over square root of 2. Oh yeah, good call, Bert. I really wish you'd stop using my name. Access granted. Okay, we're in, we're in. Was that you? I think so. Guys, 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 I just saw a security guard. Get out of the building. I mean, I don't want to do this anymore. We're going to get caught. Come Good on. Thing the alarm yeah. isn't set up guys, by smell. Guys, yeah. if you get trouble. your okay, finger okay, off the button, you can hear me right now and hear my warning. Okay, you know what? I'm just out here sitting in a car. I'm not doing anything wrong. Those two idiots are breaking the law in there. I could just drive right out of here, go home. <gasps> we got the contract. Ah! Somebody keep this door open. Oh no, Ernie's in the background. Oh no. I could just drive right out of here, leave him behind. Ah, oh, what am I kidding? You know what? I'm... Oh, gosh. Hey, careful with the first names. We don't know... Hey, careful with the first names. We don't know who's listening to this... Hey, careful with the first name. We don't know who's listening to this... According to this blueprint, looks like the office is... The problem is the hypotenuse goes right through the... Golly!
<laughs> All right, we're ready to proceed. That's not the line. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yellow. I think there's a bird on our channel. I think there's a bird on our channel, Cookie. I think there's a bird on our channel. Why don't we just... Why don't we just break in the studio? Voice. All right, everybody. I'd like to call this meeting to order. We have some good news and bad news. We don't, <laughs> it's not even close. Exciting news today, we're two new steep streets. Right, previously at Mr. Right, previously. Let's do it again. But research, but research uncovered two new streets. Joining us live from one of them. Joining us. Sure, opposite over hypotenuse is sine, which means in this case, sure, opposite over hypotenuse is sine, which means in this case. Oh, please, Hermit. Oh, please, Hermit. Oh, please, Hermit. 34 points, or 34 in Hillview Drive. Uh, I would not let... Uh, try to get my purple a down, Ted. It won't be difficult if you had the right... Dang, <laughs> his hat fell off. Dr. Speaker! Oh, where's the stupid microphone? It's way over. the other way. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, we got a situation. 